Hello, this is Paul from Foresight Tech. In this lecture, we are going to go over the exponential and the logarithmic equations. Uh, that's uh, two types of uh, important equations, right? We learned that before. So the first, how to solve exponential equation? The basic rule is take the, the basic principle is to take a logarithmic both sides to simplify the exponential expression. Okay. And the second type of, it is of uh, uh, logarithmic equation, so the logarithmic equation is uh, exponentiate both sides to simplify the log expression. And the both we use the inverse rule of logarithmic. Okay, let me see. I have uh, two examples. Okay, uh, the first, let me see. The first is the solve exponential equation. Is this exponential equation? Yeah, definitely. So we have basic is take a uh, log both sides. But how to take? The first step is not to take a log directly. Simplify, okay, first, always. This is not a standard equation. So the first step, um, I was going to copy. So do you find a standard? How do you find the, the standard? Uh, how do you find the standard equation? It is plus five both sides, right? That's easy to get. You just plus five for here, plus five for here, plus five both sides. You can get a standard. Standard is this: is a ten raised to the. Let me see. Is ten raised to three? I guess uh, minus one. Okay, equals what? Equals twelve. This looks much easier than uh, the expression the equation before. So this is usually we call a standard equation. Okay, so the first step is get a standard equation. That's a standard equation. And then we take a log. So which log? Well, the base, the easiest the one is to take a LOG, a common logarithmic, right? Why? Because the base here is 10. Uh, can you see? Well, I take a 10 both sides. I'll take a LOG both sides. Take a a R O G to the left, okay, and they should be equals. We take a L O G to the right, right, okay. So here we simply say we take a L O G both sides, both sides of the equation. So what is inside? Let me figure out this is three x minus one's power. Here is 12, right? <clears throat> okay, why we take this? Because we have a inverse rule. Do you remember? ALOG, let me see up here. Okay, wait a little. Why we need to take AR? Because uh, we have this rule ALOG A, and uh, here is A raised to the x power. See? equals what? equals x. So this is the inverse rule. One inverse rule. Okay. So here is exactly the base is 10 and that is 10. Okay. You take a equals 10 is simplify the left. And we simplify so what do we get? So the left should be goes to uh, only the power. So which means uh, 3 x minus 1. Okay. So that's the left. Now the right is uh, so the ILG at the 12, I ignore the parentheses, okay, it's the 12. So this is important, this is the major step, okay, the major step is here. So we have uh, inverse rule used, okay, inverse rule, of course is a log reason. And then now easy, right, that's the word, that's a linear equation plus 1 both sides and then divided by 3 so you can solve for x so x equals 1 uh, directly get uh, x should be equals alog at 12 plus 1 right plus 1 both sides and then divided by 3 divided by 3 okay so this is the uh, answer you just solve the linear equation let me go into one more. So this is what this is exponential equation. So I have a logarithmic equation for you. This is a logarithmic. Logarithmic equations is the same. 
uh, first step we're going to find the standard equation. Standard equation means uh, get the same validity equation easily. Okay, you can plus one both sides and then divide by two. Okay, I will not write that directly. <clears throat> Um, let me write the standard equation should be because of here ln at 3x okay so I wrote here is ln at 3x equals uh, 4 divided by 2 I know is uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2 right yes All right equals 2 okay and uh, from here to here it just simplify Okay, very easy to get it. So what do you get? You get a standard equation. I say this we call the standard equation. So now how to do? So we use another rule. Okay, so we use another rule. So do you remember another uh, inverse rule of a log? Is this right? Another rule is a raised to the a or O G A at X equals D X. Do you remember this is also inverse? This is a inverse. So the inverse rule. Okay. Now we use the second. How do you do this? Uh, what is A here? A is E, right? So you need to raise. You need to take a, a exponential to take exponential both sides. So usually we call the exponential both sides with the base e. Okay. So we're going to do is do this. Uh, I will put the e to the left. Uh, put the e to the left. So I will put the e to the right. So here is e to the right, and it should be equal to the to same. So the right is a two. So the left of the power is. A, is the same, right? The same base, the same power, so is the correct. And this time we can use the inverse rule. We just should. I just should. Okay. A raised to log n a x equals x. So we can simplify. Just cancel. Okay. The log rate. Uh, the name of this step this is the important. Okay. It's so very important. So we call the x. Uh, Exponentiate, okay. Exponentiate both sides. Okay. Now you use the inverse rule. The left is a three x, right? The right, of course, is a e square. Just it. so. Now this is the most important that you find. Uh, so this is what uh, this is a inverse rule. Another type of inverse rule of a log, still okay. And if you get this, of course, you get the solution. So x is what divided by three both sides. X you get uh, e raised to the square e square divided by three. Um, can we start better here? No. And therefore, x for logarithmic equation, be sure to check the solution. Okay, be sure to check. Why? Because sometimes we get a. Um, uh, now, so you get the solution which is not true, okay? Or sometimes you get uh, more than one solution, so you need to pick one is correct. Whatever you have to check. So here is check. So we're going to check. Um, I put it here. So let's check. Is this a solution? Why this a solution? Or you say because this fit this equation. The left a equals the right. So we're going to see the left. Of the equation, and the left equals a two times a m. Add, okay. So I plug like this. So we get more. I guess uh, is this times three. You cancel. You get e square, right? You plug like this into the left side. The left side equals e square. Good. Minus one, right? Okay. So this you remember another inverse rule. E e the same. So take a two. So equals a what? This equals a 2 times 2 minus 1 is 3. See, 3 equals the right side. Which means what? Means after we check this is the solution, right? 
So the left there, you got the right. Okay, so that's it. Oh, thank you.